Welcome to Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. I'm here to do my latest book review. And I just want to say with two words to sum this book up, simply beautiful. I loved it. It was just, I want to say this is probably the first book I read that was, it had those moments where it was kind of sad. But then it was this comedy throughout the whole book. It kept me laughing and kiki and, and that's something that when I think about all the books I read, I really haven't had a lot throughout the whole book. Um, This is my second um, book by this author, and I just want to say I look forward to reading more. Actually, I'm, I'm, after reading this book, I'm going to go back and read some of her other stuff that I've never read because, like I said, this is my second book. With no further ado, I am talking about It's Not All Down From Here by Terry McMillan, New York Times bestseller. Where do I start? Hmm. This book deals with Lorenthia, who is like the main character and her girlfriends and each one of their lives. And also it deals with her family, the issues that she has with her kid. Well, she has two kids, but I, I say her daughter. As you know, if you follow me, um, my YouTube channel, again, is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. And as you know and you follow me, um, you know I don't do spoilers, but I am going to talk about some high points in, that I've seen in this book. You have, like I said, Low Rithia who is married to Carl. He owns his own construction company. She owns her own beauty supply shop. She actually has two stores. And it just talks about their marriage. And she's 68 at the time when it first the book first started. He's planning. She don't want to have no surprise birthday party because you know when you get to a certain age, you do think it's all down here from here, you know. And she doesn't, her birthday is coming up and she's told everybody she don't want to have another birthday party, you know. And he doesn't do that. Something happened. I didn't like what happened, but something did happen to me too soon. Then she has a son by the name of Jackson. Jackson, I'm sorry. And he's over in Japan living with his wife and they've had two kids. Twins, actually. Because Lo is a twin. She has a twin sister named Odessa. I will say this. There's two characters in this book I did not like at all. And I despised them. That was her sister Odessa and Peggy, who is her daughter's aunt. I didn't like Peggy because I felt like she was a a user. Odessa felt like she was privileged and she felt like Lo needed to take care of her because she's had some bad points in her life. I want to say what I take from this book is you could be one person this year, and it may take several years, but you can change. And I love how Terry McMillan changed those two characters in particular from good to bad. Most of the time when I read books, if I don't like a character in the beginning, nine times out of ten, I'm not going to like them toward the end. I'm going to be like, uh, I don't know, but in this book, Peggy and Odessa prove me wrong. I want to say by the end of this book, I was like, you know, I um like how she introduced characters in this book and the adversity because it was there. It was definitely there. How you thought this character was one way and turns out not everything is not what you think it is. It was quite a few twists in this book that I kind of, I liked it too, I will say that. Kwame was one of my favorite, along with Lowe's mother. 
that old lady had me laughing so much. I was like, she was one spunky chick, you know. I um I like Pooch too. I wish I feel like her character was I don't want to say undeveloped, but it wasn't enough. But I understand why because of reading the book, I understood why. I give this book five stars. I can't wait for y'all to read this book because you will be impressed. Um, my second book by Terry McMillan was A Day Late, A Dollar Short. And actually, that turned into a lifetime movie. And I read it before the movie came out. And right when the movie premiered that weekend on Lifetime, I had already finished the book. So I knew what to expect. Except for the movie, like they always say, the movie. Hmm. And this, in that case, the, the book was so much better. It was more detailed. And I understand you have to edit and all of this in the movie. You can't tell everything that was in the book. I want to say another thing in this book I love was because Terry McMillan showed you how sometimes you could be depressed and you don't even realize it. You really don't. All the other people that's been there sometimes can tell. And I love how everything came together with the family because her daughter turned out to be depressed and she seeked help and she stuck with it too. Even though her mother wanted to be there for her low, she didn't want that. And a lot of stuff came out within the family that was like surprising to me. I want to say I can just definitely see this book right here on the big screen. As you know, Terry McMillan has How You Got, How Stella Got Her Groove Back, which was a motion picture, um, disappearing ad, and most of all, Waiting to Exhale was definitely it. I'm not read those books. I, I'm definitely going to go back and read some of her older stuff because, like I said, a, doll, a day late, a dollar short, and this book is my second read by her, and I must check out more books by her. I do have Mama, and I heard that is so good. So that's probably going to be my next read. I just want to say you're going to love this book. I've had this book. I actually was lucky enough to get my co this copy last month, so I've been reading it consists of 350 pages. You would not be disappointed. This book right here was so good. It's definitely going to be in my best read for 2020. I give it five stars. And I'm unable to do my review now, but as soon as it's up on Amazon, I'm definitely going to do my review for this book. Thank those who support Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. If you have not, please feel free to subscribe. In the comments below, let me know if it's something that I'm missing out on that you would like for me to do a book review on. I am open to do that. I'm also on Instagram, Robert's Reading Room. My Facebook page is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews also. Until next time, happy readings. And don't forget, please, when it come out March the 31st, which is 11 days from today, please get your copy of it's Not All Downhill From Here by Terry McMillan. You will not be disappointed. Good night.